Hi folks, I use a Wemos D1 Mini board as an Arduino code compatible board to drive all my Terrain-tronic smart LED drivers like the Harlech Castle and the Canarvon Castle and more. In this video we're going to look at recent updates to Windows 11 that might be causing problems in downloading new code to these boards. Hi folks, I'm David, I run Terraintronics.com and I make LED controllers for your tabletop gaming terrain. The Wemos D1 Mini is a board based on the same processor that is in most of the smart sockets and so on that you have in your home. It's form factor perfect for building tabletop terrain. The board was originally designed by the team at Wemos but has now been heavily cloned by multiple manufacturers and that significantly reduced its cost but that's also meant little differences can occur between the boards. These boards are programmed using USB. I have a video about installing those drivers up here. However, some users using Windows 11 have come back saying that they can't connect their Wemos D1 mini boards that they sourced from different places. Well, why is this? Because of Microsoft. In Windows 11, Microsoft added a function that checks which drivers you're using for different external chips and products. And if it has a better one of its own, it overwrites it. Well, that's great if you have a HP printer and want the latest drivers, etc. But it's awful if you're using real engineering hardware. If you're getting errors like permission error 13, device not attached to systems not functioning, then it's quite possible Microsoft and Windows have been naughty and overwritten the driver you wanted to use. Here's what I've done and helped other customers recently to overcome these challenges. They may work for you too, but I can't update my YouTube videos as quickly as Microsoft makes updates. We're going to do a few different things and links to all the things I tell you download below are in the comments. So the first thing you're going to do is unplug your Wemos D1 Mini. Assuming you've already downloaded the Arduino and the Wemos D1 library for it, it's time to go download a prior driver for the CH340 USB chip. Version 3.5 of the driver has been known to work. The newer one, 3.8, can be flaky, and as soon as Windows installs it, you never know what's going to happen. I also want you to go download a copy of Putty. Putty is a, what, what's called a serial terminal, and it essentially allows you to talk to uh, the chip uh, outside of the Arduino environment. Install Putty and unzip the USB driver into a folder on your desktop or your downloads folder. Now, we're gonna go into the uh, settings of Windows and disable the automatic driver updates. Dell has a fantastic website for this. There's a link to it below telling you how to do it, whether you're using the home version of Windows 11 or if you're using Windows Pro version. Now that that's completed, run the USB driver program that you downloaded, but you're actually going to uninstall it. Right, so run it in administrator mode, then uninstall the driver. And that's going to remove the existing driver that's on your PC, whichever one it is, whether it's the Windows downloaded one or one that you've downloaded yourself previously. Close the app and now start it again in administrator mode and install the driver this time, driver 3.5. Once that's completed, open your device manager and plug in a fresh Wemos D1. And you'll see, hopefully, that it pops up in Device Manager. I do recommend you plug in a fresh Wemos D1 as sometimes the Windows driver can corrupt the Wemos D1's memory and so on. So a fresh one out of the bag uh, just to see what COM port pops up. Take a note of that COM port. Uh, so that it might come up as COM port 5, 4, 11, whatever it is. Take note of it, open PuTTY, select the serial and write in COM 5, 4, 11 or whatever it was that popped up. It should open up to a black screen. Perfect, right? Any problems with the driver would actually throw up an error message before that. Now, ideally, on the Wemos board, the blue LED, it's normally blue, should be blinking with a one second interval, on then off. Let's make it a little faster and upload it to make sure it's actually working. You're gonna open your installed Arduino environment and hopefully it's already been set up once to use the uh, Wemos D1 Mini. There's a advice in this video for that. But in this case, you're gonna go open file, examples, basics, blink sketch, and where, is, where the code says delay 1000, you're gonna change it. It says it twice. You're gonna change it from delay 1000 to delay 500. And all you're doing is changing the pause, which is between the on and then the off, from one second at a time to half a second. So you've made it blink twice as fast. Hit the download button, and sure enough, you should have the, uh, the LED blinking twice as fast. 
Now restart your computer. As long as you've disabled the Windows update, everything should work as expected. Take care folks. I hope you, this works for you. If it doesn't, leave your comments below. I can't offer support really that much on the Wemos D1 Mini other than you know what I found to work for me. Uh, if you found any other better ways of solving this problem, please comment below. And don't forget to like and subscribe. All right, thanks again. Bye-bye.